Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to Predatory Exotics. So we have just endured a five hour journey and a stay overnight because we are here at the Doncaster Reptile Show. We have been waiting two years for this. It was a long, long yeah, time ago that we planned originally to come here. Uh, and we finally made it. We finally, it's open again. It's free, like to the public. No more COVID for this. And we've been waiting so long. So we're here uh, two, just over two hours early. Uh, there's not a queue yet. We're literally going to be the first couple of people in the queue. That was our plan. Uh, <laughs> and it's absolutely freezing. Yeah, uh, it's pretty cold here. Never <laughs> been on a trip this far to come up to like a reptile show, a reptile shop, anything like that. So I'm hoping it's worth it. With all the stuff we've seen online, of the stuff that is coming to this show, plus the stuff we haven't seen before, it's going to be an absolute hangout. So we're going to go ahead and get in the queue, and we'll see you in about two hours' time once we get in. Um, yeah, time to queue. All right, guys, so we're like, we've gone around the show once now and we tried to get as much footage as we can. It's very busy in here, as you can probably hear from the audio. But as you can see in our hands, we've made lots of purchases. We've spent a lot of money a today. Lot. A lot. <laughs> a I, lot. I took out money and I've spent it all. And now we need to get more out. So we're gonna, we've been around all the tables once, so we're just gonna kind of uh, stroll around now. A lot less stress finding the animals we want. And now we can enjoy the show. It was sort of a mad dash to find stuff and stuff like that, stuff we've seen, um, and then ended up getting different stuff that we saw online anyway. Um, but now it's like a weight's been lifted. We've got the stuff we wanted. Now we can just have a chill, appreciate all the different animals that are around. Now. So now it's time for round two. Let's go.
How's it going for your show so far? Alright guys, so after a long treacherous journey back, we have finally made it home and it's time to show you guys what we got and kind of talk about the show because as you've probably seen from the footage, it got very busy very quickly. <laughs> of course we were at the front of the line so we did get in quite early and then as the video progressed it just became more and more people. It quickly turns to chaos, you're literally going from table to table. You almost have to skip over the tables that you know don't have anything that interests you. Not that it's got cool stuff, um, it's just stuff that you know if you spend too much time looking at that one, the things you want on the other tables are going to be gone. So it's one of the things you have to kind of do a quick whiz round and then we were trying to get footage but we also wanted to make sure we didn't miss out on the things we wanted to get as well. Yeah, and then it was points we would lose each other, trying to <laughs> hand it through the crowd, trying to find where, where we are, but it was it was a lot of fun. It was very overwhelming, but like in a really good sense. So now we have a massive haul of animals. So without further ado, we're gonna show you all the pickups we got from Doncaster, November 2021. So guys, it's uh, I'm gonna do my stuff first, but I'm gonna start off. Um, a fan reached out to us. Uh, his name is Nick's Exotics. He met us just on Instagram and asked if we would be able to maybe bring something back that he's prepaid for. Uh, we were like, sure, uh, and we're gonna start offering this to other people in our area, other people who watch our channel. Uh, it's gonna be a twenty pound service fee, uh, but we'll bring your animal back, save you the trip of five hours. Um, it's a long way to it go. It's a long if, journey. If that means we can pick up other people's animals. <clears throat> And then you get to, especially if you have your own little mini reptile Instagram or whatever, um, we can show it off for you as well. Send us a message. Uh, that's now a service that we offer. But starting off with what he actually got, uh, I'm going to throw up the clip we got already because I don't want to um, open him too much because it, it isn't our animal, but he did say we could use it in the video. Uh, and this is, do you know the actual full name? Um, I believe it's Pachydactylus rugosus. Um, um, and the common name I think is like... Um, the rough toed gecko or something like so that. So I'll show up the better footage we got earlier, but that's him inside. Uh, and the guy's going to come pick it up tomorrow. Uh, we do want to mention that if you're wanting to use the service of us going there, uh, you have to pick it up within 24 hours because we can't house it for so long. Um, but that was pretty cool. It's uh, a very cool gecko. It is a uh, very cool gecko. That's an adult male as well. It's So it's a very small sort of micro gecko, pygmy gecko type thing. We are a little jealous of yeah. <laughs> what he's picked up, but um, we were chatting to the guy that he prepaid it off and uh, we ended up buying some stuff from his table yeah. as well. <laughs> so moving on to what I actually got for myself. As you know, every time I go to one of these expos, I get equipment and stuff I'm gonna use. So I got two bags of moss, I got some spring towels, and I got some fruit flies. That was just the general material uh, stuff that I got. But time to move on to the actual animals. So I'm gonna start off with a new snake of mine. Um, this is my first ever Kenyan sand boa. It is an anery, and it's het for albino. And as you can see, I'll get him out now. This is an adult male. And look how cool this guy is. Awesome colours, very different to the ones we currently have. Um, but there he is, I'll try and get him up to the camera for you guys. Very nice, very docile. Um, we spoke with the guy that we bought this off of for ages, and you'll see that Tom bought some stuff off him as well. Um, this guy made definitely a nice profit off of us because he had some cool stuff. But this is the Kenyan Sandboa. Um, I haven't thought of a name yet. Uh, I wanted to call him something like Oreo just because he's got the brown and the white. But leave some suggestions down below because we always love to hear what you guys think we should name our animals. I'm going to pop him back before he escapes. But the coolest thing about the Sambo is actually it's Het Fat Albino Ooh. as well. Um, so the Anery or Azanthic, when you mix that with a visual Albino, um, you can get the snows. Um, so we do have a few different azanthics and albinos within the collection. Um, so our project is to eventually get a snow sandbar, which, which really is going to cool. be awesome. Now, moving on to the next animal I got. I did only get two this time. Um, I had a goal of what I wanted to get and I completely achieved the goal. First up was the snake. Second up, as you know, we've been looking into breeding crested geckos and we've got one female, but we wanted to get another female. This one's already named, named it as soon as we saw it at the show. I'm going to get her out. Super friendly, as you can see. About to go into shed, 
but this is going to be named Eclipse. So we've now got Lunar and we've got Eclipse. And as you can see, a much darker variation. It's got some cool jeans in it. This was a Halloween project kind of morph they were working on. Um, very cool. And she uh, is definitely wanting some action to get active because uh, they've been away in the tub for so long and such a long drive. But very cool. I'm going to try and get her in, but you might as well move on to Tom because every time I try and put her in the tub, uh, it's a bit of a challenge. So, um, where to start with my bits? I got quite a few. I'll probably start with the the biggest purchase I made. Um, so, you know, I'm always into Samboas, but one of my bucket lists is to try and get all the different species of Sambo. Um, so, you might not have heard of this one because it's not a very common Sambo. Um, but this is a Tartar Sambo. This one is an adult female, about four years old, um, and these come from through the Middle East, sort of further over to the east, and then into sort of southern Russia and into China as well. So they're a really cool species, and I actually managed to get a adult pair. Um, so that's the female who is massive. She's pretty much three foot. Um, and then this is an adult male of the same age. That you can tell all Samboas are sexually dimorphic, so the females are so much bigger than the males. Uh, and then this is the male one, which is super cool. And they're nice and tame as well. And they'll be ready to breed um, in the next coming season. But super cool, you can see that male's got the really long tail. But it's really different to a Kenyan Samboa. Um, looks a little bit like a javelin sambo if you've ever seen pictures of them, but super cool. And this is the same table that I got that Ollie got his anery off, and then also from the same guy, it was a whole table of sambos. It was yes, really awesome. it was a lot of sambos, and we purchased a lot of sambos. Uh, this one's a roof skins, I struggle to say it, um, but it's basically an all brown sambo. Um, but when you breed this to a normal Kenyan, this is how you get the striped, Ken striped Kenyan Samboas. Um, for some reason, when this goes to a normal sambar, the pattern, you get the orange stripe and then the brown down the sides. So that's going to be working into our sambar projects. <clears throat> he does have some very small orange flecks, but it's hard to tell. Um, but that is going to be something super cool. So we got a couple more sambars for the collection which i'm obviously super excited about and then i did pick up some geckos as well i got these out they are handleable but i'll leave them in because i've already got them out once um but these are western banded geckos um, colonionyx variegatus um, and these ones are from a specific national park in california um, in the colorado desert and these are sort of high white ones that are dark. They almost look like they could be azanthic, but this is just the locality specific Western banded gecko. So we've got the larger female is this one, and then the male here that's got that really weird sort of um, opaque tail that's super cool. But so it is a very cool pair. I hope the camera does it justice on how cool it looks because it's all it looks transparent it looks like you can just see through the tail and it's got a clear one but that's a pair from last year um he had some babies as well but i thought i'd go for the pair so i can set them up in a nice enclosure um yeah she, she doesn't want to go back into the tub so we're probably, <laughs> probably just going to do the outro with her <laughs> as you can see super friendly which is great um, but overall, the show was great. We we loved it. Definitely worth the trip. Definitely at least try and go once if you can. Yeah. Um, because it is nothing compared to shops or and anything get there like that. Early. Yes. <laughs> that we queue. got there about two hours early um, in the non-members queue. Um, the members queue took about twenty minutes. They get to go in half an hour early. Um, but by the time I think when we were in, it was queuing round the race course. But we were right at the front three people from the front so um we literally got in at soon 10:45 hit we were in looking around trying to get a jump on everyone else yeah but then that queue built quickly <laughs> and then of course people showing up like when it was opening and it was just like damn you got a long mm. you got a long wait but once the doors open i felt like people did get in pretty quickly uh 
because they have to deal with like paying for fees and, and stuff like that of entry. But overall, get there early. It's a great show and we had a lot of fun. And as you can see, uh, the bank accounts definitely took a little hit on, uh, on the trip here. So if you have enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed all of the Doncaster footage, please leave a like on the video, comment down below what was your favourite at the show that you would have got and what was your favourite animal that we picked up here today. Yeah, and let us know if you got anything. If you were there uh, and we did miss you, um, let us know what you got because we tried to we tried to find out what people were getting. Um, but of course, like, like you saw, it was very busy. Um, but yeah. So make sure you subscribe to this channel because as you can see, we've got so many more reptiles that we need to set up tanks for and the future breeding projects that these are all going to be involved in. So make sure, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Hey, what is up guys? So yeah, I'm just editing the video. Uh, I wanted to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, as you can probably tell towards the outro, we were very tired. We'd spent most of the day in the car, you know, traffic and all that, and we were absolutely exhausted, especially having done Doncaster the same day. Um, so I wanted to make sure you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment, like, and subscribe like we said in the video. But we just wanted to give a massive thank you to everyone at Doncaster. You guys host an amazing expo and uh, we can't wait to go again next year. And uh, hopefully we're going to get better footage. Uh, being our first Doncaster, it was quite overwhelming. You know, um, we didn't get all the footage we probably maybe wanted to show you guys um, because we were just enjoying it. So we were kind of just taking a moment and enjoy enjoying the show itself. Um, but we did have a lot of fun. So thank you once again. And uh, of course, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.